Hello, today I'm going to be talking about keeping our eyes on Jesus. Hebrews 12 verse 1 and 2 says, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. In the last few months, I have intentionally been looking at the subject and the person of Jesus. And this verse or well, these verses of scripture have really come alive to me. That we have to be very intentional in our walk with the Lord. The writer of Hebrews makes it very clear that in life we all have witnesses. We all have people watching us. We all have people we influence, whether we're aware of it or not. Hopefully for the better. But everybody has people watching them. Who do you think is watching you? Could be a neighbor, could be your friends, family members, colleagues, people who look up to you. Who's watching you? And what impact are they getting out of your life? How, what, what story are we writing of our lives? Because we're a letter that people are reading all the time. And this is for everyone. And so the writer is reminding us, as a result of the truth that was surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, he encourages us to be focused. And then he says two things. Number one, he says we should lay aside every weight, which is anything that would hinder us from running fast. Because we all have a race set before us. You're unique and nobody can be you. We all have a specific role to play in this life. And as we discover it and run our race and run it well, then we run for the glory of God. And so the, the writer is reminding us to set our eyes straight, but be mindful that there are things that can weigh us down. What is it possibly that could weigh you so that you cannot run the way you ought to run? For many of us, it will be things that might be habits, Things that we might have got ourselves into that are not very helpful. Things that could even be sinful. But what could be the hindrance for you? But then he also talks about the sin that ensnares us. And this is common to all of us. Because we all have something that ensnares us. And that is taking our eyes off Jesus. This is the sin that is common to all of us. And therefore the instruction is that look Unto Jesus. We need to keep looking unto Jesus. And we do that through the eyes of our heart. As we keep our eyes on Christ intentionally, as we meditate on his words, as we keep our eyes on who he is, and he becomes the focus of our life, then the reflection of who he is begins to impact on us. And we reflect more and more his glory. And as he says, when we look unto Jesus, we notice Two important things, that he's the author and the finisher of our faith. Did you know that? Jesus is at the beginning and he's at the end. When we turn back, we see him and we keep our eyes on the finish line. He's there beckoning and, and saying, come on, you can do it. Come on, run your race. I'm cheering you on. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking to see you finish your race and finish it well. And the Bible says he's now seated at the right hand of the Father. The Bible says he had shame to despise. And in every race, there are things we need to endure. The pain, the shame, the challenges, the persecution. He says, the Bible says, he despised it. So he could look ahead for the joy that was set before him. What joy is set before you? I encourage us today, as we keep our eyes on Jesus, let us look down on the things that could handicap our journey and keep our eyes focused on him. God bless you.